G'day, I'm Mal Leyland, and this here is our Fiat Ducato motorhome. Now today we're going on a short trip from where we live to Brendale, near Brisbane, where we're going to get the airbag man to have a look at our suspension. One of the many problems that motorhome owners experience is tail scrape and low ground clearance. Now we experienced this problem firsthand and couldn't get our motorhome in or out of the driveway of our garage. Installing airbags is going to lift the vehicle up and enable us to drive in and out of our driveway here without this step, which is the lowest point, from scraping on the ground here. So let's pop over to the factory and see how they're going to do that. Arriving at Airbag Man, we were surprised to see the size of the operation, which is owned and operated by Richard Clamp, who started the business over 20 years ago. His eldest son Jacob showed us around and as designers and manufacturers of air suspension systems, Airbag Man take Firestone airbags from America and then design brackets and fittings so that they fit the vehicles we have here in Australia. Airbag kits come in a box and include the airbags, brackets, airlines and all the fittings you need for installation. Their warehouse stocks airbag suspension kits to fit over 1,000 different vehicle types. While Jacob was showing what goes on at Airbag Man, his brother Ben was getting my Fiat Ducato motorhome up on their hoist, ready to install the airbags. The Leaf Helper airbags are double convoluted rubber bellows with a round steel plate on the top and bottom. Before the airbags are fitted to the rear suspension, the mounting brackets are first attached to the airbags. After showing Mal the airbags, brackets and fittings, it was under the vehicle for the installation. Installing an airbag kit to a vehicle's suspension is simple enough and Mal just couldn't resist doing some of the work himself. The kit's pretty easy to fit. Anybody who's a bit handy in the garage or even your backyard can fit this yourself. Once Mal finished tightening up the brackets, we fitted the air lines for his custom air control system. Underneath his motorhome, we fitted a 12 volt air compressor an air tank, and inside the cabin, air switches were installed, along with a digital air pressure gauge. When the installation was completed, we backed Mal's Fiat Ducato out of the workshop. One final check to test the system, inflating the airbags and raising the rear end. Then we said our goodbyes to Mal and Lorraine as they headed back home in their motorhome. Well, we're back home now, so let's see how we can put the motorhome back into the garage. Hopefully, without any problem. Our Fiat Ducato has now been fitted with these Leaf Helper airbags, so let's see how it all works, eh? The rear of the motorhome has sagged after being loaded up ready for a trip away. I press the buttons to inflate the airbags. First, we level up the rear left. I can hear the compressor starting up and as the air from the compressor air tank is pumped through into the airbag and I can see that the air pressure is increasing in the gauge. Now the rear right and the rear of the motorhome is lifted up back to the safe and level ride height. After you've inflated the airbags it's always a good idea to check the distance between the axle and the top of the wheel arch just to make sure that you've got the correct ride height for your vehicle. So, let's see how we go with that ground clearance in the driveway. Inflating the airbag has raised the rear end and levelled up the vehicle. So let's back her in and see if the airbag helps us clear that bump. Well, that's it from me. I'm Mal Leyland, and remember, if you've got a sagging rear end, bag it with the best.